Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sharon's Nail Boutique. I'm your host, Sharon, and this is the set I did on my sister. It's just a Mickey Mouse colored acrylic set. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. I started off on the pinkies using this Mickey Mouse glitter mix that I already pre-mixed with acrylic. Um, this was made by Didi Nails Hernandez. Didi Hernandez Nails and All That Glitters. Um, got this in a swap a long time ago years and years and years ago this is my, actually my first time using it so it came quite in handy as you know we're doing a mickey mouse slash mini mouse set for my sister representing basically her and her boyfriend and their relationship so we used mickey mouse and mini mouse stickers we also used some of the letter stickers for my sister's initials and her boyfriend's initials so it's a really cute set guys not really much to really explain um like i said i'm going in on the pinkies with this glitter mix a full nail of it and kind of just placing those around with the heads and stuff i did it pretty much differently on both pinkies i used the glitter but i kind of placed them around differently um some of the video i've sped up in the end like the filing and top coating and stuff i have left the jewelry placements in for you guys and what I use to place those is my 20 mil uh, stuck drill gel it's a 20 mil container it's a pretty big container I'll leave the link for it in the description index below guys this is from Ally Express the stuck drill glue and um, like I said it's a bigger container I also use a like a pen looking one I'll leave both links below like I said I got it off Ally Express they're really really good price really good stuff my stones and jewelry pieces never come off my sister usually comes back with nails missing before she comes back with jewelry missing so um, but usually she still has all her nails on with everything still attached uh, this is a fresh set we just started new and we're using Glam and Glitz Color Blend Collection as well. We're using, I believe, one color from them, and it's, I believe I'm using Pucker Up. It's either Pucker Up or Smell of, I think it's Pucker Up. It's like a reddish orange co color, but it's um, more red on the red side. It's like a lighter red, not too, too bright of a cherry red. Um, perfect for the Mickey Mouse set. I like that it wasn't too, too bright and too pigmented. It was just perfect enough. Um, and then you get that pop of red from the glitter here and a super cute glitter mix. It really represents uh, Mickey Mouse really, really well, uh, especially with all the colors and all the little goodies in there. It's just a perfect mix all the way around for Mickey Mouse. So just uh, as you can see, I go in with like small wettish beads, not too, too dry. And I'm working in smaller beads, not just because it's the pinky, but also because it's a glitter. And you want to make sure that you're not over bulking your glitter, because especially when you're using a chunkier mix like this, it does have fine bits in it, but it has a lot of the chunky bits in it. Um, and my sister at first, I think she wanted them just kind of placed separately around the nail, but I ended up going in with just like a full nail of stuff scattered. And I really think that this looks better this way. Usually she's very particular and precise and she wants them like all spaced out. And I just felt like doing it this way was better. I feel like it went better with the overall design and whole feel of it. So I'm basically capping as I go along, especially with the glitter nails, just because I, I don't want any of it to move around. I just want it to be in place. Um, bless you. Excuse me. Um, you're welcome, buddy. So I just finished encapsulating. I think I go in with just two beads or three beads. Um, taking drying out some of that liquid from the back of my brush. I go in at the cuticle because you do not want your acrylic swapping all over the place at the cuticle area and it was cold in my nail room this day in particular that's why too I had to dry some of the liquid out of my brush but after this we will move on to the red color and I think it is pretty sure that it is 
puck her up, but I'm gonna go check really quick. So I want you guys to have the precise names. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that such a pretty red? It's not too, too bright of a red, but it's red enough. Yeah, the other red that I let her choose from it was more of like a pinkish undertone. This one is called on. raining, honey. You don't want to go out there. Tea. Okay, so the red one is called pucker up. Yeah. Yeah, because the other one, Smell the Roses, is more of like a pinkish undertone. And Pucker Up is more of like that reddish, kind of slight orange undertone. I love this color for this set. It just went perfectly. I think I'm going to do, on myself next, I think I'm going to do the Butterfly Kit from SXC. Because I haven't really showed you guys that. Yet. I mean, I did the swatches, but I didn't do like a set with it, so I, I wanted you guys to see this one in particular, though, because it's such a cute Mickey Mouse, and I guess it's kind of cool for Halloween, because it's a character, I guess, but it's not, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't consider it like a Halloween set, but I guess it, with the whole themes and stuff, it's okay. Um... But yeah, we're just going um, each side, same colors, same fingers, and then at the end we'll be doing our stickers. And I didn't encapsulate the stickers with these, um, mainly because sometimes when you go in with certain stickers or uh, nail art de or water decals, sometimes the monomer from your brush can remove the color from there, and I didn't want to risk that because. I only had a couple of these particular stickers that she wanted. So other than that, just pay close attention to how I go in with my brush at like that cuticle area. I use the tip of the toe of the brush, like right at that point. When I'm going in and around the cuticle area, I'm using the tip of the toe of the brush to go nice and around those edges nice and thinly and then most of your product most of the bulk is going to come through the center it's not going to be on those edges most of it's going to come through the center of your nail i mean obviously yeah your sides need color and stuff but basically what i'm saying is is you know as far as structure goes the outsides nearest to the side and skin is going to be more tapered and thin and through the center is going to be most of your bulk structure, basically. Just like with any type of structure, you know, your outside wall areas are going to come to an edge. When they come to the edge, they're going to be, it's harder to describe, um, but I think you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying watch um pay close attention when i do the like when i do this watch push it up real thin around those edges and then most of that bulk is coming through the center area like so but mainly i want you to um pay attention to like how i do like the color when i work with the colored acrylics in and around that area See, I'm just encapsulating as I go along. That way I don't have all that to do in the end. I'd rather just get it done now. I'm just adding some clear where I need it, where I saw like some areas that were kind of like dipped. My sister's nails are a little funky in the way that the shape of her natural nail beds are crooked. Some are slanted, like some are wider than others. Like this, this finger, I think, one next to it is a little trickier. But watch how I do now the cuticle area with the yellow and how I use the toe of my brush. Watch. Push it up. Getting it thinner in those corners. Pushing it in and around and most of that bulk comes through the center. Then I clear, clean up around, you know, 
know, with the yellow too and the black especially, they're so pigmented. You want to just be very careful in and around these edges and, you know, your sidewalls. That's why you don't want to use too, too wet of a bead up in this area because you could get staining like I did with this and my black color by accident. You see how I'm using that toe, like right there, just to get it nice and thin. And that's the part of your brush that you want to use when you're up here at that cuticle area. The tip of your brush, the toe of your brush. It makes things so much easier. And I noticed like I could still see like the free edge of the natural nail through the yellow a little bit. So I added a tiny, tiny bit more color there. And I believe I go in now um, a little bit more. See how you can see that line through it? I was just trying to cover that as much as possible before I came in to encapsulate. And I added a little more here at the free edge. Move on to our next nail. And then I'll, I think I encapsulate after I finish this yellow one. So same idea guys, we're just going through each of the nails doing the same on either side. And just, yeah, um, if you're a beginner or you're having trouble with your acrylic application, just hey, you wanna watch mostly. I think, especially for acrylic, it's easier to watch and learn than it is to really kind of listen to it being explained. I mean, granted that does help with some things um, when it comes to acrylic, like certain products that people use and explaining how they work and how to use them. But in regard to laying it and using the brush, I think a lot of times it's easier. I know for me anyways, it's easier when I watch people place their product and how they use and hold their brush so that's always been very helpful for me and I picked up a lot of tips and tricks along the way and you know it's not gonna be perfect every single time I trust me if anyone knows about that it's me um especially with certain colors like this one is extremely extremely pigmented so I try not to get too close to the skin with it but at the same time you don't want to leave like big gaps to where it's looking like it already needs to be filled in you know so I'm just filling in that corner there in that gap part where I missed the color and I'm gonna leave you guys to watch the rest because I'm just literally I'm coming in now and encapsulating the yellow nails and then we'll come in and we'll do the black ones and then we're at the end we do our jewelry and filing and stuff like that so just watch how I place like the the gel for the jewelry bits and stuff I also cover the decorated decorated nails with the stickers I do a thin coat of UV gel before I actually top coat, so that's pretty cool too. And it came out looking really, really nice. And I used IVD clear UV slash LED gel for that. So I'm just encap finish encapsulating now, and I will see you guys in my next video. I think I'm gonna be doing something on myself for that one. I also just ordered. Urano's newest poly gel kit which is a glitter one so stay tuned for that as well guys I love you all so much to all my new subscribers welcome I will be doing a shout out video for you guys very soon and if you have not yet subscribed and you're debating on whether you want to or not it would mean a great deal to me if you did and remember don't forget to hit the bell so you could be reminded every time I upload same old stuff guys just a different video saying very repetitive I know it's so annoying but I really want you guys to support and I always subscribe back to people that subscribe to me so keep that in mind as well because I'm probably subscribed to like thousands of people right now even though I don't have thousands of subscribers yet I am that just shows you how supportive I am because it does if I like the content even if even if I don't particularly watch that type of stuff I still subscribe back to people that subscribe to me because that's how we support each other guys we literally have the power to make each other's dreams come true with this so 
that being said i will see you guys in my next video let me know your thoughts on this set if you liked it if you didn't like it if it's a keeper or not if you have any tips and tricks for me in regards to the cuticle area or highly pigmented colors like what are some of the ways that you guys work with pigmented colors like any um tips to help me with the cuticle area where it doesn't get stained like it is now yeah such an eyesore but my sister loved her nails she is so in love with them so that's all that matters to me just fixing that area now all right guys i'll see you in my next one i love you all so much take care and have the best day ever bye guys